Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Kansas City Royals going up against the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And today on the hill, Clark Schmidt. What do you have on him? Yeah, I want to see how he handles left-handed hitters in this lineup today because coming in, lefties are batting over 300 on the year against him. So he's going to have to figure something out to get inside, keep them from getting their arms extended, and then once conscious of the inside pitch, be able to go with something away and finish them off. Bounced up the middle. Volpe. Slings to first. One up on down. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Swings and misses at the breaking ball to there. The other way. And foul ball. One out. Base is empty. Looking for the K. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set up, the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily, so you got to be expecting it. Yeah. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. Bobby Witt Jr. in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Strike two. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there in the mound. Two outs. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Royals go down one, two, three. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the hill today, Cole Reagans. Well, Boog, a lot of pitchers come into spring training with one game. goal. And that's to make 30 starts or more yeah. on the season. Well, here he is oh, reaching that milestone. Just impressive. He's been able to take care of himself, put himself in a position as well that he can be effective, pitch deeper in the ball games to help his team win. It's going to be real interesting to see how he does in this one. There could be some fatigue setting in, but he's gotten to a point that a lot of guys aspire to get to. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Hard ground ball, base now. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, a swing like that can't help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Juan Soto. And a foul ball. LeMahieu gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Jack Swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. Judge, one of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. 
Swing and a miss as he was late that time. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. That one, ball, one not close. Ball one. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame here in the second game of the series. Next two pitch ball, not close strikes. up high. Headed down the line. Renfro getting an angle on it. He makes the grab. And there's one away. Here's Stanton now. An RBI machine this year. Right near the top of the league leaderboard as the season winds down. This one high in the air to left center. Isbell flashes the leather on the running catch. Here's Glaber Torres. He's done a great job making contact recently. Working on a five-game hitting streak. Swing and he breaks his bat. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in New York, new inning getting started. So up now for Kansas City, Hunter Renfro. Hey. That one finds the zone. The oh, one. One. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown oh, inning. Don't give that other team any hope. I uh, just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but he Got wins it. the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw on to oh. Rizzo. Two up, two down to the top of the second. And now here is Freddie for me. Sliced hard but foul. Up empty. This guy's not wasting oh, any pitches. Right. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Stays alive. And the pitch. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three. Back at Yankee Stadium. Bottom of the second. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. Swings hey. through that. Oh, one's the count. Good eye in that spot. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, but he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially they've earned it. The umpire rolls with him. Three. Swing and a miss. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. Jose Trevino in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Oh, Anthony one. Volpe, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Next offering is fouled back. Oh, and two now. On the ground, right side, and it's through for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Only two hits over the last five games. And there's a foul ball. Trevino, the lead runner out at second. Volpe at first, one gone. Up the middle, it's through for him. Coming home. Oh, the throw is wild. The tag, and he's out. But a run does score in the air. Back to the top of the Yankee order. D.J. LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees. 
one for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Swing and a miss. All ones the count. Comes up empty. That's strike two. No ball. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Well, no surprise with this decision to delay the game. The rain is here, and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. And we're going to have to sit tight, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I don't see a break. the storm coming anytime soon and I've got my 499 weather app which is pretty trusty and the radar says it's going to stay this way for at least another hour so if that's the case get ready for some new pitchers to take the mound when we get back. Clobber to right field way back gone. And they close the gap it's 3-1. Chris he's homered in back to back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. And a big swing and a miss. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. 0 oh, and 2 now as he swings through it. That goes down looking. And next up for the Royals, Michael Massey. And there's the strike, Massey, oh, in one. his second season, getting ninth in today's lineup. And he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2019. One down, base is empty. Hey. Got him looking. Clipped the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. And first offering is fouled off. Two out, space is empty. Out to short. Volpe throws the first in time. That's the third out. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. As we go to the last of the third. And stepping in for the Yankees, Juan Soto. Soto. Swing and a miss as he was late. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. No ball, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Outside low. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes to count. And that's outside. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And here's a 3-2. Inside ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab one down. Now the deputy hitter, John Carlo standing at the plate. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. 
He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Foul ball there. Side, two and it's one and two. Three. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. Labor Torres up to the plate. He's over one. And first offering is fouled off. And that got him pretty flush. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Look, Rube, I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting hey. drilled by a pitch like that usually oh, isn't one. something we talk about. Some early action out there in the bullpen. Matt Sauer getting ready to go. Lynch getting loose as well. 0-1 now. Oh, one one. There. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And one and two. Out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And the right hander deals. Up the middle. To first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. That's in there. And it's 0 1. -on -one. For you growing up in New York City. I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. The Yankees up by two. Top half of inning number four. This to third. LeMayhew gets it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Royals. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Back in the Bronx. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Jose Trevino. Trevino. The pitch. That that's misses, and yeah, that's ball one. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game, and you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan, and he said to me, "Hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit." Isbell calls it in, and there's one away. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? <laughs> that was a great, oh, great one. experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. Here comes the old one. Swing and a miss and that strike two. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. One down, base is empty. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Throw to first. Ow. Two away now after the drop third strike. Manager out of the duck. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Matt Sauer. He's into the game with the base is empty. 
it on the ground to the right side. He takes Got it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. And here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Pass ball for a strike. It's 0 1. Ground ball to the right side. Nice grab. The throw, and Got they it. get the out. Freddie Fermin steps in for the Royals. Right through there for a strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and oh, deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Kicks and fires. Hey. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Three. Got it by him. Four to go. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. That misses the zone, one and one. The Yanks leading by two, and we're at the top of the fifth. To the right side, and it goes just foul. through for a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. And to the plate for Kansas City, MJ Melendez. Now he breaks his bat and he grabs it in foul ground. And he'll one. I got a ball, one this three. one in the dirt. Tag safe at second. A good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Gonna have to buckle down and make a pitch or two to get out of this little jam he's worked himself into after the two out hit. Bring that wild pitch. Good time to step off, take a deep breath. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. So one left. For Back in the Bronx at the play. DJ LeMayhew. And a pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, and one. And that's down and away. And a one one. That one fouled off. And another ball. Uh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The wind of the pitch. That okay. misses the zone. Full count now. Clearly he didn't. Come out of his hand the right way. And that curveball way up. The Yankees going with a pitch hitter. Alex Verdugo. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Juan Soto now. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Yeah, there's a ball. 0-2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. Good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Hard ground ball base now. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Aaron Judge at the plate. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Oh, one's the count. The judge spoils that one. And the pitch. That one down the line. And a base hit. Soto around second, heads for third. Now tries to get back, but they slap the tag on him at second. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a miss. 
and he snags it to end the Back for more from... Now on the bumps, got Efros. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going oh, to the opposite down. field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Next offered in there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. My drive, that's a base hit. Around second on his way to third. Massey headed for the plate. Relay throw. The tag, and he's out. That really hurts right there. This is no time to gamble. When you're down in the ball game, you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a runner or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. Stepping in, Kyle Isbell. And a foul ball. With the tying run at the plate. And we're the top half of the six. There's a swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got him looking. That's the second out. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And it is gone. He circles the bases. His 19th home run of the year. And this game is tied. It's 3-3. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel. And he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two-run shot for the Royals this inning. We're tied now with three apiece. You're watching Yankees baseball on the show, NYC. And welcome back to the ballpark. The Bottom Yankees. of the sixth inning. The Here's Glaber Torres. Glaber. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Torres, a former All-Star. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Daniel Lynch. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. One ball, two straight. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Catcher has it, fires the first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Late with the swing there. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. And that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. Wouldn't nope, chase that there. time. It's a good take. One down, base is empty. And that one a little below the knees. Full count by. Got him. 
and swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's Jose Trevino. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. And now the lefty. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. For me, down to first. Oh. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends. Back now in the Bronx. All set for the start of the inning. And to the play for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. Caleb Ferguson. Now for the game. Gets the ball from the pen. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. Left hand batter waits. And he chases that one. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Here's the catcher to hit. Freddie for me. This to center field. Judge grabs it on the run. His defense is better than a lot of people think. He's a big guy, but very athletic move as well. And that was a very nice play going back to get it out, out. late in this ball game. Throws the first in. Back in New York, set for the last half of the seventh. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Fall off foul. The lefty fires. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. No ball, two strikes. Ground ball right side. He takes it on He's his out. own. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. And next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. First oh. pitch misses. Count one and oh. Swing and a miss. One Base is empty, right. one away. Here the bottom of the seventh. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Do that ball. fastball right two by strikes. him. Slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Whoa. Next Damn. offering is down low. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. But why the kick the pitch? And that's ball four. Here's Alex Verdugo. He's 0 for 1. That's down and in. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed oh, in oh, here. Oh, Look oh, for oh. anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And he deals. Fouled off. He was late. With the go-ahead run at first here in the second game of the series. Got him swinging. Well, I think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted too far in on him. I think that pitch is just a little more out over the plate. Probably squares it up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. Two outs. Nope. That's inside. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. In the dirt, but kept close. Nice job behind the plate there. On its way to the corner, Melendez going after it. He's got it, and that is that. Ready. Out of the 
bullpen for the Yankees, Ron now Marinaccio. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. Foul ball still 0-2. Swing and a Torres gets there. He's under it. Calls it in. And there's two away. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. Pitch in the dirt. One ball, one strike. And a swing and a miss there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Inning of work there as he sets him down. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Carlos Hernandez. Yeah, the hard throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent Yankee lineup, but it starts with Aaron Judge. And there's one down. And now it's John Carlos Stanton. with a knock. Always feels amazing getting the job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. It sounded different than most hits coming off the bat. You don't need numbers to tell you the ball was hit extremely hard, but at 115 miles per hour, that's not an exit velocity you see very often. Very impressive. That one is absolutely belted. That's bad. Pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. One down. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. All ones that count. Still only one out here in the inning. Ah. Next offering in there for a strike. No ball, That's strike two. Right. Bringing the cheese on that one. Breaking one ball. ball inside. One and two to count. and misses two away down. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in, so hoping to see some kind of adjustment. Ah, well, he settles under it in left, and that will end the inning. Glaber Torres with the big fly for New York. Last chance coming up for the Royals. Back at Yankee Stadium, here's the center fielder, Kyle Isbell. Kyle. And a pitch. Holmes, multi-time All-Star, 31 years old, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2011. Right-hander kicks deals. 
He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. That gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. In the air, right side. Sizing this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. So they're down to their final out. And now the first baseman, Vinny oh, Pasquantino. And the slider just misses. Foul ball there. It was a little out front. They did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Ground ball, and this should do it. That's the ball game. With this win here today, you've won the first two games of this three-game series, so you would think the work is done, but when you're at home, I don't believe so. You've got to come back with a mindset for game three that you want to win it, and you're going to go out and do everything that it takes. You win like that at home, you position yourself for good things down the stretch. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.